Spot the Difference by Christian at Bricks Kids. Hi friends, my name is Christian and I work at Bricks Kids. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, like this video and hit that notification button so you don't miss a thing. Today on Bricks Kids our theme is Spot the Difference. So what do I mean by Spot the Difference? Don't worry, I'll explain it all for you. A very good Bible text to remember is James 4 verse 6 and it reads But he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says God opposes the proud but shows favour to the humble. Think about the story of Naaman. Naaman was a leper. That's somebody who has leprosy. This was an even bigger problem as Naaman was the commander of the army of the king of Aaron. This meant Naaman was a very, very important man. He was a very brave soldier which made him very popular. There was no cure for leprosy in those days. Leprosy is a terrible disease. You get spots and they turn white and your skin falls off and you have absolutely no sense of feeling. When no doctor could help, a young Israelite servant girl remembered what God had done for Israel. The servant girl suggested that Naaman should go to see Elisha the prophet for a cure. So Naaman took his soldiers and treasures and went to Israel to see Elisha. Now Elisha didn't want money, he didn't even come to the door. He just sent his servants to tell Naaman to dip in the Jordan River seven times. Naaman was furious and he felt disrespected and on top of that he had to dip in that dirty Jordan River and as if once wasn't disgusting enough, he had to dip in it seven times. Naaman wanted to go home. He was ready to bathe in one of his clean rivers, totally opposite of that dirty, muddy, gloppy Jordan River. One of Naaman's soldiers said to him, What's the big deal? You've conquered many countries, so how hard can it be to dip in water? Naaman realised that his soldier was right and went to dip in the Jordan River. One, two, no change. Three, no change. Four, five, no change. Six, no change. But seven, he was healed, he was cured and he realised that God was the only true God. So, the moral of that story is to be humble, because that's how Naaman got his healing. Another great text is Psalm 25 verse 9, and it reads, He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. Another text is Ephesians 4 verse 2, and it reads, Be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bearing with one another in love. The end. Thanks for watching, and remember to be humble. Bye. Funny bit coming up.
It's time I'm gonna kick that football clear to the moon! Ah!